And that's what kind of makes this account worth it is your bonus plus your 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 tenure and your guaranteed pay. That Guys, listen to me, bro. I'm going to give you the nitty gritty about the Tyson account. Welcome to the caves here in Quincy, Illinois. What's up, big boy? Huh? What are you doing, huh? He's a big boy, but he's a good boy. Me and Poseidon holding it down. There's no cell phone reception down here, which means we can't do anything, can we? We can't do anything, can we? No, we can't. We when uh, there's no Wi-Fi and there's no cell phone reception, bro. Gotta read, bro. Gotta pull out a book, bro. Get into it, man. I'm currently began reading Principles by Ray Dalio. It's a, it's a dense book, man. It's kind of dense, but... Um, you know, this is uh, this is one of the top business books you can get, man. I just get excited to learn stuff, man. I'm always excited to learn something new, to 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 get in and get it, bro. You know what I'm saying, man? You gotta let me tell you something, bro. I keep my mind honed in and focused, bro. We don't lose track of where I'm at, man. I'm always looking to better myself, dude. tell y'all one good thing about riding at dawn baby look at all that parking dude you start early you finish early man so that's one good thing i love about getting started super early in the morning is uh bro i don't even worry about parking bro so this is actually my fuel stop so what i'm gonna do is i'll get up first thing tomorrow morning super early got about five hours of drive time i'll fuel up here and then there won't nobody be in line now normally i don't like fueling up in the morning but i got some time so i'll fuel up first thing tomorrow morning early these pumps will be empty and uh yeah dude it'll be good some canned food but it's not bad either though you know could be a lot worse my fork out here mm. i'm gonna need some bushes baked beans along with some turkey and swiss sandwiches dude anyways dude listen to me bro i got some things i want to say got some things i want to tell you I have officially been back on the Tyson dedicated account for one freaking year. Right, one full year, dude. And now, also, I came to find out that there's like a waiting list now. I never knew this, bro. Somebody told me they put you, they put them on a waiting list for the Tyson account, which is just, I never thought, I didn't know that was going on. But um, 
So I don't know, if there's some hiring areas, they've just kind of slowed it down. I don't know, bro. Guys, listen to me, bro. I'm gonna give you the nitty gritty about the Tyson account, okay? I'm gonna give you everything you need to know. I'm gonna tell you the good. I'm gonna tell you the bad, bro. I'm gonna tell you the things that tick me off. I'm gonna tell you the things that I love about it, bro. I'm gonna tell you everything you freaking need to know about it, all right, man? I'm not gonna be just trying to be a salesman, dude, to only tell you guys the good thing, dude, because there's some things that really tick me off. But uh, anyways, guys, I'm gonna finish eating my dinner tonight. I got my take five take five with me i gotta put it in the freezer because it, it kind of melted up there in the sun but i'm gonna tell you about the tyson account my one year experience here what's been going on we're gonna talk about lease purchase company and just my different experiences the overall encompassing thing about the dedicated side of hirschbach trucking so all right man i'm gonna eat now what's up everybody we just got fueled up bro check this out man what the heck <laughs> This is like the, uh, this is like, the, is this the natural gas, bro? Or the, uh, the pumps, man? I think. I don't know. What, what, what it, y'all tell me what this is, bro. Y'all freaking tell me, dude. I'm curious now, man. Yeah, man. We got the reefer filled up now. We're on point for the temperature. Got the green light. Ripped up, ready to rock and roll, baby. <laughs> Get down out of here, boy. Look who else I got with me. Look, look who else I got with me. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We see you. Oh, y'all know what time it is, baby. Freaking C4, dude. Freedom Ice. Ah, oh, yeah, dude. Oh. Oh, <laughs> yeah, dude, that's what's up, man. So good, man. We're ready to rock and roll this morning, man. <laughs> Here at Hirschbach, we're going to go over pay, home time, different stuff like that. But what I'm going to start with is a pro, and then I'm going to go to con, and then I'm going to go to pro, and then I'm going to go to a con. So... I would say a pro is that I overall just, I like the account, dude. And, um, bro, being on the Tyson account, it's a pro and a con, I guess, in a way. Because Tyson's difficult to deal with, dude. They're not the easiest people to deal with and, and stuff like that. But the pro has been for me, the pro has been for me that... I know these people at this point. Like, this is my one year on the count. I worked on the account previously in 2020 uh, during the pandemic, like right at the kick of it. So I know these people. I know the security guards. I know the office staff. I've like, I've interacted with them and I've just built that rapport them with them, dude. I also like the people in the office, dude. So I have Linda is my dispatcher. I like working with Linda, dude. You know, when she needs something from me, man, I try to help her out as best as I can, like a load switch to re relay and stuff. I've done those things, man. And dude, she always tries to work well with me, dude. And I think like when, when I feel like somebody's always trying to work with me and help me and advocate for me and we just have a good working relationship, dude, I call her my work mom, dude, cause she's, uh, she's, she's, uh, she's awesome, man. I get along really well with her. I don't think she knew how to take me in the beginning, dude. I think she's like, why is this guy yelling on the phone? Why is he so excited to drive a truck? I don't know, man. She probably thought I was crazy, which that's okay. Cause I am. But anyways, dude. Um, so i I just overall like the account. So I just want to say that, and I'm used to this account. I'm used to the deliveries and pickups, and I've been to a lot of these places over and over and over. The Tyson plants, I know what entrance to go in, I know what to expect, I know the protocol, I know what to do, I know to put the safety vest on, bro, you know, like, just stuff like that. And I think, like, that comes with longevity of any company you work for. When you've been working for a company, the longer you work for them, the more you're going to get used to their system, their customer base, their freight lanes and all those kinds of things. And it's really going to, it really just helps you out overall. So, and we're going to, you know, we're going to talk about that more in pay. 
uh, because the longevity does affect your pay here at Hirschbach on the dedicated side. So, but I, um, I definitely think that, um, you know, I've, uh, it's good, man. Life is good. Um, you know, that's, that's, I just, I just generally like the account for me. Everybody's different, man. But I, I try to, I was, I was a little bit nervous coming into it, man. I was like, dude, I don't really feel like dealing with Tyson again, but dude, I think it's just your attitude, bro. We've I've talked about that already in a video, but when your attitude is, is one of gratitude, baby, you know, like it, it shifts the paradigm and shifts their perspective. And, and I like being a truck driver and I like working on the Tyson account. So I'm happy here. I was, I was offered a, to go to a different account here at Hirschbach and uh, I turned it down man I, I'll I'm okay with staying here on the Tyson account so I was just like you know dude I already know this account I already know like my, my my driver leader Linda she's you know like anytime you switch accounts or switch driver leaders dude it's a roll of the dice man and I just wasn't in the mood to roll the dice we're gonna talk about a con after this Let's get on the road though, I gotta make this delivery. We gotta get back up to KC, get to Olathe, drop, and then hopefully pick up another load and do a short run out and back, so. There's a hurricane truck. Ooh, that's a nice truck. I think they call that one the Joker. I've seen it before. We're gonna do our paperwork here. Signed BOL. Yeah. Put it in the app. She signed. All right, guys, we're leaving here. Tyson doesn't have a load as of right now, but I'm gonna head down to a store and I need to get some water. I haven't got any water from my truck or anything. So, you know, it is what it is. Giving them the wave down there at the security office, boys. I'm running out of water, so I'm gonna go grab some water. Thought about going to the gym, but the gym is 11 minutes away and I just do not feel like going to the gym. I haven't really worked that long. I've worked five hours today. And that gets into the first con that I want to talk about when it comes to the dedicated Tyson dedicated here at Hirschbach is you are at Tyson's mercy. They, you know, they're going to treat their drivers better than you. They're going to give them all the whatever, but you're at Tyson's mercy, man. And uh, they're the ones that are gonna plan you out, send loads over, and your driver leader is more so what it feels like to me. This is my perspective, my opinion. Take it for what it's worth, blah, blah, blah. But your driver leader, to me, feels more like a, a middle person, like a, a middle man for the, for the account. So they got a little bit of influence and say so, and and different stuff like that, but you're gonna be more at the mercy of Tyson. 
so yeah, man, working with Tyson, like it's it can be hard, bro. I mean, um, you get to know people in the office at the shippers and receivers at Tyson, but on the other end, they're like the load planners and stuff like that. No bueno, but I want to show you this. I'm going to show you the pro. This is the next pro. We did a con. Now let's do a pro. You ready? I'm going to show you a pro real quick here. <laughs> Check this out. You see that? That right there is called bobtail, dude. And you can pull in to anywhere you want to go. I'm here at the store but you can pull into the Planet Fitness or anywhere else if you've got time or waiting for a load. Um, I'm 0.4 miles away from, uh, I'm 0.4 miles away from uh, the, the Tyson plant in Olathe. That's why I come here, because I'm not too far away and I can go in here and get what I need out of the store. So let's go in here and get some water, some agua. All right. Maybe I got a few things more than just water, but they were, you know, we had to get some snacks and a few frozen stuff and uh, some more snacks. What do you think, Poseidon? He's ready. He probably locked the door. Good thing I got a key in my pocket. Jerk, let's see if he locked the door. Nope. All right, get down, get down, get down, get out. Bro, this truck is in definite need of some cleaning bro yeah it sure is sure is are you gonna clean it you're the one that makes it all dirty you tracked mud in from a from a rainy day yeah you did you sure did you tracked it in it's all your fault yeah i love you buddy i love you yeah, uh-huh, you want the neck scratches? Oh, yeah, he's a big boy, but he's a good boy. So I don't know if y'all can see this man or not, but over there, that is a coyote. There is a freaking coyote running around at this target in Olathe. He's by himself, though, too, man. That's freaking nuts, dude. Freaking coyote. Wandering around the target in Olathe, man. Insane, man. Normally they run in packs. That dude's just chilling by himself, man. He won't come up to me either, man. I was I was walking up towards him. He's like kind of straight away. Let's see if we can get closer to him. That could be a fox. No, that's a coyote, man. Foxes are more skittish. He's letting me get really close to him, man. All right, guys, we're headed to Omaha this morning. Um, we have it's like 200 miles up there. And then we're gonna be headed back down to KC, 200 miles back, so 400 miles today total. I'm still looking for that coyote, dude. I don't want him jumping up in the window, getting in the truck, dude. Crazy, man. Also, you could tell too that his tail was really feathered. It was just the perfect size for a coyote, dude. And the color and the tail, ears. I was a coyote, bro. Take a quick second here guys we got this thing loaded up checked over everything but i want to talk about the um a con of the tyson account dude and that is just tyson has crappy trailers dude plain and simple it is what it is man the equipment is terrible dude you have to check over every little thing Make sure you do your air brakes and make sure everything's going good with those and your tires, bro. And like, bro, let me tell you something. Even if you've got mediocre tires, 
on this trailer, bro. It's, it, I've, I've had two busted tires since I've been on this count for a year. So just, just check over the equipment. And the most important thing I can give you, man, when it comes to the equipment here at Tyson, when it, like in regards to the Tyson dedicated account, you've got to check the temperatures, especially in the summertime. Check your temperatures, man. Like when you're fueling up, check the temperature again. If you see, check, even when you're driving, check for that yellow light. It's usually green, but if there's a yellow light, pull over as safely, when safely possible, dude, and, and check the temperature, bro. I cannot, like, bro, I've had so many times where the temperature's been off and I've had to defrost it and, and do all that kind of thing. So the, the equipment's not the greatest, but, to that con there's a side pro to that man Hirschbach gives you pretty good equipment like the uh the truck that i've got and all their trucks here they're pre it's pretty good equipment man it's gonna hold up you're gonna do pretty good so always like i said check your equipment check over it pre-trip it every single time dude and don't ever take it for granted there's just a lot of older on these tyson trailers it'll have like a little sticker on there saying 10 year warranty so they want to keep these trailers a long time. They want to keep on using these trailers. They get the extended warranty on them. And that's why their trailers are usually tend to be older, older, older trailers. So anyways, just, just throwing it out there, man. Check the equipment, bro. Hirschbach has pretty decent equipment, man. I'm a, uh, I've always like from the time I've worked in 2019, to work in there today right now i've always felt like the equipment here has been good i have not always felt that at every company that i've worked for okay so um but that's it's always the pros and cons man but anyways we got to get going we're going to talk about pay i'm going to give a details a lot a lot of details about the pay here on the tyson dedicated and what you can expect in lease purchase as well as company driver and talk about um, the differences there uh, and what have you so so guys we are gonna have to woo, clean up this truck guys woo, it's getting too messy dusty dog hair I feel like I have to clean this up like twice a week Ugh. all right Let's get in the car. Let's get going. Wave at him. Wave at him. Wave at him, Levi. What do you think? You excited? Yeah, it's big. Yeah, it's really big. Look at that sunset over there. She going on a little walk around the apartments today <coughs> per usual going on our evening stroll before we get back everybody's gonna get a bath tonight but young wild's gonna get a bath first then Poseidon's gonna get a bath and then it's gonna be story time and then bedtime and then we're going to talk about the pay on the Tyson dedicated account. That's what we're going to do. Thanks for throwing that poo poo bag away. Uh, what? You're the messy boy. Oh no, you are the messy boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? It's Funny. It's funny? Yeah. Who's funny? Daddy Bunny. <laughs> no, you're funny. You're the funny boy. 
Norwegian, German, English, because over there it's like a river separates the language. <laughs> Awesome. Oh. Helicopter out there playing with it. All right, come here. All right, sit over here. Wow. So, went to pick up Young Wild from his his little uh, toddler class at church this morning, and she said, "Oh, he acted really different today." And I'm like, "Oh man, dude, did the kid cause chaos or trouble or something?" And I'm like, "Oh man, different. I mean, this kid's as chill as it gets, to be honest with you." She's. I was like, "Oh yeah. Well, how so?" And then she said that while we were, <laughs> she said we were talking about Daniel and the Lions Den today. Boo. Yeah, we we're talking about Daniel and the Lions Den, and then when we got to the Lions. He stood up and he was like, yeah, lions. I know you can't tell it, but he gave a battle cry, man. So, I don't know, man. I'm kind of, that was just funny, dude. And we both started laughing and it was awesome. And just had a really great weekend, didn't we? Yeah. We had a good weekend together. Yeah. Did you like going on the big Ferris wheel? Yeah. At Shields, remember that? That when we were on that big circle and it went all the way to the top yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. Eee! All right, so we're going to talk about the Tyson Power Only. So that says lease, dedicated lease. Tyson pa TPO means Tyson Power Only. So let's talk about the, uh, the pay. Um, so you're going to start off with a weekly minimum of $13.50. All right, and that's this is company drivers too. You start at this is your weekly uh, minimum that you're going to start out on, and then at your one year tenure you make thirteen seventy five. At your two year fourteen hundred, three years fourteen fifty, four years fifteen hundred, five years fifteen fifty, and that looks to be your top out right there. Uh, this isn't the monthly bonus. This is the the you know what you get paid your cents per mile for the line haul and the different miles. It's a sliding scale, uh, but you're not really gonna need to worry about that um, because if you um, pretty much, you're just not gonna, you're never, you're, you can make above the guaranteed pay. I've done it before, but it's really hard to do on the lease purchase side. So over here, this is what you're gonna get paid on Friday with the lease purchase. So what I like about that is even if there's not a lot of miles or there's a ton of, like you're still going to make a pretty consistent paycheck every week. Okay. And then it's slowly going to go up this, you know, the pay every year. So right now I've been at Hirschbach for a year and a half. So at the two year mark, I'm going to go back up to 1400. So that's, that's the good thing about your pay. So the bad thing is if you're sick for a day, Oh man, like that, you don't get that guaranteed pay and you really don't make a check. I mean, it's really hard to kind of come back from that, from being sick for a day or something like that in the middle of the week. You know, like when I hurt my back, I, I rested for a day. I went to the urgent care center and then I rested for a day and I really, uh, there, there was no options. I've been sick before I've gotten the flu or a cold or something like that in the middle of the week. And that's just going to happen. You're going to be down for a day. You're not going to make anything that week. And that's just how it rolls down. You know, you, you got to take the good with the bad. Um, like I said, this is before taxes is taken out and all that kind of stuff. So um, now let's talk about uh, the bonus. Let's see here if I can move my mouse around. So this is how the bonus is calculated. It's based on your tenure length. So your first three months, you're making one cent per mile for the month. Three to six months, two cents. Six to 12 months, three cents. One year, five cents. Two years, six cents. Three years, seven cents. Four years, eight cents. Five years, 10 cents. And then 10 years is top out and that's 15 cents. So if you, I mean, as long as you're showing up to work, doing the job every week for the for the month, you're gonna get that bonus. And, and you don't do anything safety related, like run somebody over or something like that. You know, as long as you don't hit anything. Uh, have to file an incident report, like those kinds of things, you're going to get your bonus. So showing up to work 
and doing the job and doing it safely, that's going to get you your bonus. So, and that's what kind of makes this account worth it is your bonus plus your, 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 your tenure and your guaranteed pay. That's how you slowly, um, you're, you're going to do good with that. So that's a pro and it's a con, you know, so if you mess up, you're just not going to get paid. If you take a week off, you're not going to get paid. It takes you a couple of weeks to kind of come back from being in the hole. And that's just part of lease purchase. But I mean, I've accepted that. And, uh, you know, I'm okay if I take a week off to not get paid for two weeks. You have to save up accordingly and manage your money wisely. Stay at the company. It's going to it's going to go up. So those are those are important things, man to keep in mind and it's guaranteed and in this market economy i really like getting the guaranteed pay i'm not rich i'm not like you're not going to get rich off that salary but if you stay for a while stay for f what is the top out was five years i believe is that what i said five years the top out pay five years is top out pay and that's 1550 so if you work so if you work 52 weeks i'm doing this on my calculator right now you're making 77,500. that's if you work 50 weeks out of the year so I'm giving you some leeway and everything else. And that's not including your bonuses. So like I said, that's your base pay plus your bonuses. You can make a you can make a pretty good penny, man. You could probably take in two weeks off in the year, uh, allowing for that. And then on top of that, getting your bonus, you could probably easily make around $83,650. If you get the, that's me calculating a bonus in of $500 for 11 months. So, you know, that's, that's being a little bit generous, but it's still being a little bit conservative with financially too. So you you add the numbers up. It's not a bad gig. You know, if you're making 1550, you're here for five years. That's a pretty good check, man. And that's take home. Plus you get to do your own taxes. You know, I've talked about that before, man. I ain't going to go back into it. Uh, so let's talk about a con one more time. Um, con, you're going to run nights. And you're going to run early mornings. Y'all see me up 2.30, 3 in the morning, 4 in the morning. Y'all see me up at 10 o'clock at night to midnight, those kinds of things. You run your mornings. It's going to be, it. it is what it is. If you don't like running when it's dark outside, probably should do flatbed. Those guys run on solar panels. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Those guys run late nights too, but... Yeah, guys, you you you're gonna be running late nights and early mornings. It's just it's the nature of the beast. I mean, I prefer early mornings. I enjoy my early morning shifts. I like getting up at two thirty, three, four in the morning. Um, but I know some of y'all don't. It's, it's pros and cons to every account. Uh, would I recommend it? I would probably tell you guys. I don't know what the company side. Uh, of the pay and what that looks like and how they pay per mile and all that kind of stuff. I know, I think it's one set rate. I don't know how their bonus works, but I always tell people my, my recommendation is if you come over here to Hirschbach and you want to do lease purchase or something like that, um, start company first, learn, learn the routes, learn the account. And, uh, you're going to do, you're just, it's a lot safer of an option. So my recommendations all right guys we're getting down to the nitty-gritty this is no more trucking stuff nothing about any of that i want to give you all the gold nugget and uh tell you about some things that are kind of going on with uh my church man so at calvary chapel we just recently lost uh our pastor pastor jim he's in his early 60s and um we found out he was diagnosed with cancer and then about four months later he was just gone and uh the church has just been really hard it's been grieving we've all been grieving dude it's been a really tough go and um i uh you know i go to calvary chapel kc and we've had a lot of great men step in and uh, preach and from our church and different areas are surrounding and from other different Calvary chapels. But I really miss Pastor Jim's preaching, dude. And uh, I was thinking today about something he said. Um, this was a year or so ago. And uh, we were talking about in, in, the, in the sermon on a Sunday morning, since God knows everything, why do we need to pray? 
you know, like what's the what's the necessity behind prayer if God already knows everything that we need and every where we're at in life and He can see everything that's going on in our life and our troubles and and all those kinds of things. And he he told the story, you know, he's like sometimes I go out to get ice cream with my grandkids. And sometimes they come home from school and we're talking and we go out for ice cream and they start telling me about something new that they learned or something they saw or an experience they had. And he's like, obviously, I already know like about the the big tree that they saw in the in the on the side of the road or, you know, the construction site and the new bulldozer. And, you know, but he's like, when they're telling me. He's like, I just really enjoy spending time with my grandkids. He's like, and I pretend like it's the first time I've ever heard it. And I think that's how God sees us, man. Like, he knows what we go through. He knows what's going on. And he knows what we're, what we're going to pray before we even pray it. But never underestimate God's joy in just spending time with his kids, man. And that's who we are. We're as sons and daughters, man. God is our Father, man. And I got this verse, and uh, it's from Psalm 103, 13. And it says this, As a father shows compassion to his children, so the Lord shows compassion to those who fear him. Man, never, never underestimate God's compassion and joy in just spending time with you, man. He's a good God. He's a good Father. And he cares a lot about you. And he wants to hear from you today. He wants to hear from me too. So anyways, listen guys, love God, love family, work hard, stay dangerous, wild beard out.